Hello there, person. I hope you're well in these times. What times they've been, eh? Let's take a look at some stuff that's new here with Wraithbinder. Um, got the multiplayer working split screen. Check this out. Four players on one screen. I'm controlling the upper left character. AI is controlling the other three characters. Um, every character has their own frame buffer that it's actually rendering to. So um, there's a there's one big voxel buffer that's rendering for the entire level. And then um, each one of the uh, FBOs basically is taking a slice of that. Each um, frame it's using a pixel buffer object to transfer that to the screen. Uh, or to the to the GPU and the GPU renders it um, and then they all get so all of there's four different FBOs for each camera or for each player and all that in each camera and then um, as soon as they uh, well after it renders all those it goes and renders them all those FBOs to one big FBO at the end so there's still a uh, basically there's FBO 1 and 2 per camera and then there's FBO 3 and 4 which sort of uh, go for the entire camera or for the entire screen and uh, that allows me to do some full screen effects or I can do some individual camera effects um, so it's pretty cool um, one big hurdle to uh, getting this all uh, working correctly was actually actually just freaking optimizing things um, when as soon as I added four different players I was like oh my gosh at times it was running 30 frames per second um, there's even a couple times I got all the way down to like 20 frames a second I'm like oh my gosh oh my gosh gotta fix this so luckily I found some pretty significant places to make some huge optimizations without changing anything once again yay me um, Actually, really, there was some stupid stuff I was doing in the render system. I was like, oh my gosh, why why not just do it this way? Uh, for example, um, erasing sprites. Erasing voxels, basically. That's um, that's uh, always been a, a bottleneck in my rendering engine. And um, the problem was that it would go and loop over all the entities it needed to erase. Erase them all. Then it would go and loop over all the entities that those entities affected and repaint them all. And uh, now basically it just goes and re it loops over all those entities in one loop and um, and then renders them all at once too when it's doing that one single loop. So it's actually, it's not even, it's, it's basically just incredibly amount more efficient to do it that way. I think it, it might be f at least four times as, as fast, if not more. There's just so much setup work that I had to do without that kind of stuff. So, um, that's a huge thing. Basically being able to run four players at once. It improved the game's performance, not only in single player mode, but of course in this four player split screen mode. And there's all the other optimizations made too. Oh, check it out. We won. Right on. Um, it's actually shrinking up too. That's another thing to note is that it's actually shrinking all of the game's UI. So let's quit here. And um, you can check it out in when in single camera mode. Um, we can see that it does normal size for everything, and so this is how it will be when you play online. I'm pretty sure I'm going to limit it to playing just one uh, one player per computer when you're playing online. You know, it's not like you'll be able to uh, boot up and play four players um, local and then have that connect online as well. Um, it'll be when, you, when you're online, you're playing basically in single player mode. Um, and so if you really wanted to play with other people online, then you would all have a different computer. Uh, but if you're at home and you're playing with the, on the couch, you'll be able to play this game for up to four players. And all of you will be able to play locally and sort of like have a um, your own private match and all that. So this is what I was saying about uh, having the, the whole UI nice and big. This is how Wraithbinder normally looks. You've got these big old bobbles in the bottom here with all your hit points and mat and matter points and your level, your experience. Uh, there's the player bobbles in the top where it shows your team in uh, as green characters and um, everybody else is red. Uh, and then we've got the abilities on the left over there. So that's my, um, it's about to upgrade blade for me and give me the blade ability. 
and then we in the top right we have the mini map so all that stuff shrinks when we go into two or four cameras let's go to two camera for a minute we'll check this out two camera mode just splits it vertically so we've got one screen on the left one screen on the right here and uh had to do the same thing with shrinking the ui to get things to really fit and look okay here um maybe the about whoa check it out there's Eric. hi hi Eric. um yeah, so you can see that it's kind of necessary to shrink all those elements, even here in camera, in four, especially here in four camera mode. Uh, four camera mode, we've got every, it's, each screen is pretty tiny, so um, and this is pretty cool. They also everything is is rendering to that third and fourth FBO. So if I turn on screen um, capture for a minute there, I just turn the screen capture on and off. It didn't show anything because it's not meant to. Uh, but let's take a look at the uh, screen cap folder here and we'll take a look at that run I was just doing there it should be yep today 5 16 p.m. what's it now 5 17 p.m. so yeah it's this these latest files here um, boom so there it's actually recording the entire screen so I'm stepping back in time here you can open one of these and see let's open the last second to last one so there you go. This is actually rendering at the game's resolution and rendering out a ping file at the fastest it possibly can, which is 30 frames a second, which is plenty good for making GIFs. So this is kind of cool that I can record GIFs even with these this four camera mode. Stoked about this. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, and made some progress this week on the main menu some more. Check this out. We can actually change cameras now this is sweet so before last week uh, I was having the problem where whenever I would try and change the cam the number of cameras at runtime it would crash right away it would basically have some issues with nodes not being released um, so let's go switch to two-player mode here boom we got two cameras oh yes we can even switch the characters so far for the first player I'm working on getting it so you can have menus uh, for multiple players at once right now we can only have a single menu on the screen at a time so that's why we've only got player one able to edit their character over here so working on that uh, but check it out we, can, we switched back to one camera here in the meantime as I went back from that menu back to this menu um, we switch back to one camera if I were to go to three players it's gonna it's gonna round up and make that four screens so there boom boom four screens um, and if I'm going to change my character, you can see that I, my character is actually changing here in this void world. So, um, oh, there's that, that character. What I was saying there is every single one of these cameras is reflecting the difference between me changing my character right here. So this is neat. And I'll, you'll also be able to create a new character soon. Um, and then I'll be working on that too. So there's a lot more uh, factors you'll be able to choose between, besides just your height. Uh, but if we go back here and let's say we wanted to be one player, same thing. Boom, we can change cameras at runtime. And we could even start a match. So if I were to start a match here with four players, uh, assuming I wanted the all these players right here, boom, we can start a match. So very excited about these uh, these uh, these what do you call them? improvements to the game. I kind of already had all this this split screen stuff started but man there was a lot of things that needed to be refined to be able to get this to work for four screens at once uh for most of the week this the beginning of this week i couldn't even get four screens to work it was only two screens uh or one screen and i finally figured out that basically it wasn't uh, i have this that that whole system with a third and fourth uh fbo for the entire screen and that wasn't getting updated so whenever it would switch the number of cameras it would sort of mess up and break the third and fourth camera so that's why uh, I wasn't only I was only able to get two screens at once or yeah up to two screens at once and now we can get all four screens because the frame buffers are all proper proper like so oh one issue you can you, that's that's might be apparent from watching this um, is that my character so I'm playing the top left screen uh, and my character is outlined in green and anyone that's an enemy on my screen is outlined sort of in a pinkish red color um, but everybody else should they should have their screens they should be outlined in green right but on their screens they're all pink as well 
because that it that's because right now it's drawing those outlines actually to the voxel buffer so it's actually outlining it in 3d so if i if i were to actually go behind something else right here you can see that my outline actually goes behind the object right so that's a three-dimensional outline based on two dimensions actually so it's yeah but anyways it's it's the actually it's actually adding three-dimensional voxels for that um and so basically the point there is that uh, I need to figure out a way to draw those three-dimensional voxels perhaps to a different sort of buffer per camera. Right now there's, like I was saying, there's only one huge buffer for the entire screen, for the entire level. And um, I need to figure out how to get that to work for multiple different characters where on my screen I would have a green outline and on any of the other players I would have a red outline unless they're on my team etc so I need to figure that out too and but that's kind of the last cherry on top of getting this all functional right being able to play this local multiplayer four controllers on one couch at one time that's eight different single butt prints into one couch how do you like that we're seeing sort of a slowdown here after playing the game the match for a few minutes here I'm sure I wish I could hook up a profiler right now, but uh, yeah, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll come back with some more updates, make it rate finer later on. Thanks for watching. See you.